Moving on to the Los Angeles Chargers, finished at seven and nine. They fired their head coach of Anthony Lynn and hired Brandon Staley, who Trayton loves. Last season, 23rd in offense, 14th in defense. They lost um, a tight end, a really good tight end in Hunter Henry, who Tyler loves apparently. And then Melvin Ingram, the defensive end, is still a free agent. They did sign uh, a center, Corey Lindsley, the two offensive guards, and tight end Jared Cook from the Saints. And in the draft, they drafted Rashawn Slater with a 13th overall pick and Asante Samuel Jr., a cornerback, in the second round. Traden, why are the Chargers going to be successful? Well, I, I, th- I, think it, I think it's the moves they made, you know, in the offseason. I mean, signing uh, Brandon Staley, I mean, he, obviously two of, the, two of the guys on here know him very well. Um, former defensive uh, coordinator for the LA Rams, who have been consistently one of the best defensive teams for quite a few years now. I mean, I think we all agree on that. We, we constantly put them in that, you know, upper tier and maybe not elite, elite, but they're, they're upper tier, you know, countless, you know, countless years. And I think that that, that, that alone is going to bring a lot more, you know, that defensive mind is really going to help this team that doesn't need much help offensively. They need the help defensively until, well, besides one area of, of the offense, uh, and I'll get to that, but they need, they need some defensive mind to help them. I mean, they're, they're in the, they're in the bottom tier or bottom half of the, uh, of the league defensively last year. And, you know, that alone, I think is going to win them a couple more games. That being said on the offensive side, this is where, you know, this is where they kind of shine. I mean, you have, uh, you have Justin Herbert who, who was my, um, you know, my QB for, for fantasy last year. And he was an absolute stud complete fluke that he even got in on game two and he took it and ran with it. Uh, And then, you know, you, you have a lot of pieces there. You have Austin Eckler who, who, when he was healthy, he was very efficient. Uh, Keenan, Keenan Allen is, you know, of the best. I mean, we all, we all know that. Um, tight end Jared, Jared Cook is a little bit of a question mark, I, I'll admit. Uh, but he, I mean, he, he has his moments, but he's not consistently amazing. The most important thing, though, is the Chargers needed to, uh, to address their offensive line, and they did in the offseason. That offensive line has improved immensely. Even even Pro Football Focus has already ranked them, um, you know, higher. Right now they're at at eighteenth. Um, that was way. I mean, they were in the thirtieth, like thirtieth percentile. And I think that they're actually being a little bit, you know, conservative in this respect. Um, and I think that they're actually going to, you know, surprise way to the upside. Uh, and look at we had Justin Herbert as one of the best, if not the best, quarterbacks in some, you know, in certain weeks. Uh, at least f- fantasy wise, and he's able to make plays with a bad offensive line. Let's give him a good offensive line and just see what happens. I mean, that's why I think this team's you know destined to have a very very good season, and um, I'm very excited to see them you know you know play the the Chiefs, um, and I think that they're going to actually have a have a shot at the at the division. I'll be honest with you. I like that, Tyler. Why are the Chargers going to suck? <laughs> Uh, so here's the thing with the Chargers. I think they are a very good football team. And I think that the piece, as, as you mentioned, they added what they needed, right? You know, but there are a lot of new pieces, especially in the front office, especially in the, the leadership role of this team. And those can be very hit and miss sometimes. And as much as I like that they're, they're new head coach, he's a former Rams guy. I love that guy. Uh, um, I think Staley will be successful. I just don't know if he'll be successful in his first year with this, with this new team. I think it takes time for those things to develop. And you look at their schedule, the first five weeks, they're playing a lot of good football teams the first five weeks. Put that up, put that with a shortened preseason schedule. We'll see how they can get out of, out of those first five weeks. Um, you know, granted, it is a longer season, so maybe the second half of the season they will, you know, improve. Um, but also Justin Herbert, I think he's a fantastic quarterback. We'll, you know, sophomore slump, maybe. We'll see. I think sometimes quarterbacks with – or, you know, when people succeed so well, I think they come back down to earth just a little bit. And we'll see how much he does come back down to earth and how much that will affect this Chargers team because obviously everything's running through him right now. Um, I don't think he'll. I don't. I don't think he'll suck, but I don't. I don't know if he'll have as great of a season as he did last year. Um, but they are more well, more well rounded. Um, but I just don't think they're going to be as good as I think a lot of people think. I, I think on paper they they look very good, but we'll see how they play on the, well, when it comes time to actually play. How are they going to finish? Uh, I'm going to go eight and nine. So I think I said they'll, they'll be a decent team, um, but they will just fall short of a winning record this year. That's okay. Uh, Trayden. 12 and five. 
12 and six, 12 and five. Can't do math. 12 and five. I agree with you. I'm going to say 12 and five as well. Uh, reason being that offensive line, Trey said it was a top 18. I think it's a top 10. They're just, they're not rating Rashawn Slater as good as he should because he's a rookie, but like I dominated at Northwestern. He's going to dominate in the NFL. That swing tackle position, it's, it's more of a question on whether uh, Justin Herbert can live up to the hype. He came into this league as a backup quarterback, knowing Tyrod Taylor was going to take the majority of this year and ha- make it his own. He went in there and nobody expected much from him. This year, everybody's expecting the world from him. Can he live up to that pressure? We'll see. The biggest thing that I'm concerned about with this Charger squad is the defense. Derwin James is back as a safety, which is great because he missed them all last year. But outside of Joey Bosa, there's no pass rush. So I hope Brandon Staley can manufacture something to get some pass rush there because otherwise that defense is not is not it. Alex, how are they going to finish? I'm going to go right in between you guys. I'm going to go 10 and 7. Um, I think you bar guys are both making great points. Um, I do agree with you, James. Justin Herbert is going to have to step up. And now there's not the, um, oh, he didn't have an offensive line caveat to it. He's going to have it. We're going to have to see it. Um, I think I'm going to go 10 and, 10 and 7. Eric. 11 and 6. <laughs> Just one more win. Just one more <laughs> win. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk fantasy here. I start off with the quarterback position with Justin Herbert. Jay, what do you think? I, I mean, he, he, he was the, the rookie of the year for the AFC. Um, threw for over 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I mean, this guy had with – and, you know, going back to what Alex said with a bad offensive line. Now, you know, there's a little bit of changes and I, you know, you, you might want to be a little bit weary of, you know, a defensive coordinator coming in and as your head coach and maybe changing a scheme a little bit, but I, I hope that he would look at what they did, you know, at least offensively and say, Hey, you know, this works, let's try it with this offensive you know, line and go with that. But who knows how they're going to do it. I would say he's, he's going to be up there in one of the first, uh, you know, quarterbacks to be taken, at least in the first five, we'll say. Okay. So he finished as QB number nine. Do you think he finishes or like better than that? Yes, I do. Okay. like that. And moving on to Austin Eckler, you said that you liked him because he, when he's healthy, he's good. He finishes RB 26, missing six games. Yeah. Is he, does he stay healthy this year? Healthy enough to be a top 20 running back. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say, I can't, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Um, a tough offensive line puts you puts you in in risk of getting hit more. So you're having a better offensive line. It's probably going to be bode well for you as a running back. When he played, he was he was averaging 16.5 fantasy points per game. That's ninth in the NFL. That's fantastic, in my opinion. Um, and you know, I and he's averaging 4.6 yards per carry behind that bad offensive line. So uh, if that's an, an improvement and he can stay healthy, he's he's another one that's has the potential for going off. I like that. And then last but not least, Keenan Allen is being drafted in the third round. Would you draft him in the second round if you had a chance? I think I would. Um, you know, it just bodes, it just goes back to, you know, Justin Herbert, you know, stepping up and, and maintaining his composure with the pressure that's going to be on him. And Keenan Allen kind of can make anything happen sometimes. I mean, the guy is so good in my opinion. And, you know, if when you have a very, very confident um, quarterback like that, but I think, I, I think that he's he's in for another fantastic year. I like that. That's going to wrap up the uh, Chargers. Mm-hmm.